Hello and welcome to lesson 14 in the creation of our school management system with the GeForce IT Service Academy using Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word. So in lesson 13, we look at how to insert our various labels on the user form here. So in this lesson, in this lesson 14, we are going to look at how to insert our various test boxes so that our system can work perfectly without any stress and without any challenge so if you are new to the channel kindly subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell for all as we dive into this lesson 14 okay so in lesson 13 we started adding the various test boxes we started inserting the test boxes here so we will continue with that without wasting time so let's quickly select this first one here so this is test box one please take note so when we come to the name here it will appear here test box one so let's follow some principle here let's just control c then control v to paste so we drag it to this side here nicely then we come to text box two then control c to copy control v to paste please don't go to don't go to the test box one and copy that one no okay so let's leave this test sorry let's leave this test box three here now when it comes to the class we are not supposed to use test box we are to use combo box so let's search for combo box here this is the combo box so let's just tap on it let's bring it to this side here you left click and hold then you drag it to the last and to match up with the previous text box that we added here now let's go back to gender we have gender here as the next thing so let's let's come to the option buttons here we are going to use option buttons for the gender so we come to this one we drag it so you left click and hold they drag it to this side here like this then you just control c to copy then control v to paste so we have our option buttons there so let's just position them well on the form like this i think we have something nice there okay so the only thing that you need to do is just to uh, rename the various option buttons here so let's come to caption let's come to caption here then we rename it we rename it to mail like this then you hit enter then we come to the second one to select it then let's go back to the caption then we rename it female like this okay so we have our option button to up and running there now please take note of this this is test box one then this one is test box two now the combo box has taken the place of test box three and then the option button has also taken the place of test box four so please pay attention to what we are coming to do here so that you don't make any mistake so we have test box one here test box two here this place is supposed to be test box three but we replace it with combo box then this place is supposed to be test box four but it was replaced with the option buttons so now this is our test box three here we don't need to move that one to the date of birth no so let's just hold it and place it here so let's control c on the test box three to copy it so control c to copy then control v to paste so we have our test box four here but we are not going to use it because the option buttons here they are, are taking the place of the test box four the option buttons here are taking the place of test box four so now let's click on the test box four and copy that one then control v to paste so we now have our test box five here so we are good to use this one here the, the test box five for the date of Bef. so let's place the test box five here now let's select the test box four and delete it let's delete it because we are not going to use it please take note of that don't make any mistake okay 
So now let's go to date of admission. So we are going to insert another text box for the date of admission as well. So you control C to copy the text box 5. Then you control V to paste. So let's move the text box 5 to this side here. Good. So you can adjust your form. You can adjust it. Okay. So now we have the text box 5. Sorry. The text box 6 here. So this one is the text box 6. So let's try to move it a little bit. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is just to control C and copy the text box 6 so that we can be able to get text box 7. So control C to copy, control V to paste. Then we drag it to that side. Then control C to copy the text box 7. Then control V to paste so that we get text box 8. Then control C to copy the text box 8. Then control V to paste so that we get text box 9. Okay. Then control C to copy the text box 9. Then control V to paste so that we get the text box 10. That is going to be our, our last text box in this lesson. Okay. So now we have the various test boxes up and running here without any stress and without any challenge please make sure that you watch this video carefully make sure that you watch from the beginning to the end so that you don't make any mistake okay so the next thing that you are going to do is to click on the frame let's just click on the frame here then let's come to caption then we change it let's change the the name to students details so student details like this so we have it here so let's let's make it this way enter students details enter students details good so we have it there so let's just uh, tap on enter so we have the name appearing at the top of the form here so this is just telling the people that are going to use the, this system to make sure that they enter the details of only students okay so we have that one to the now let's go to another side here we need to insert another frame for the passport pictures of our students so let's quickly do that one too before we move to the next thing so we have our toolbox here so let's come to frame then okay so let's select image let's select image from here we need to add a passport picture here so we need to create a holder we need to create a frame for that one so let's click on image here then you come to this side you left click and hold then you drag it to the last end here okay so we have our frame there up and running we have our passport picture holder there up and running so let's come to back color to change uh, the, the back color of that frame there let's try to change the back color so we change it to white we change the back color of that frame there to white so let's just run this and see how our form is going to look like okay so now that we have all these fields we have all our labels and we have the test box the combo box the option buttons everything here now let's just try to run it and see how our form will look like so just click on run here then we have our form here like this wow this is very wonderful so let's just click on this button here to close it and then let's go back to the visual basic so this is what we have now so till our next lesson i say thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe turn on the notification button for all as you wait for the next lesson so thank you very much bye bye